Uh, let's bring in Theodora Elimaki, who is a doctoral researcher at the University of Helsinki. She joins us now from the Finnish capital. Theodora, good to speak to you. You know, coming into these elections, the polls were suggesting uh, that the three leading parties were running neck and neck. I mean, when you look at a country, uh, the prime minister, Sanamarin, had led the country through, you would argue, a very successful COVID-19 pandemic. Uh, it has brought the country into uh, the NATO military alliance. So why has this race been so close? Well, first of all, uh, one thing that we have to keep in mind is that it's not that usual in a country such as Finland, which has multi-party governments and coalitions, to actually have a prime minister renew their prime ministerial position. So, uh, in a sense, uh, oftentimes these opposition parties, such as the National Coalition and the Finns party, would usually have a much bigger head start in this race, whereas uh, keeping in mind that the uh, Sanna Marin has had uh, a tough time with things and maybe decisions have not been as easy, it's actually very positive that she ha that the Social Democratic Party has been in the top three. So I wouldn't say that it's actually a negative thing, it's actually a positive thing that uh, the race between the Social Democrats, the National Coalition, and the Finns party is so close. Okay. Uh, Theodore, tell me this. I mean, um, since you mentioned the country's tradition with coalition governments, I mean, it, do you think that uh, it is possible that we may see the winning party, whoever that may be, sort of reach across the political aisle uh, to form a, a, a ruling coalition? Well, it, it will depend on the end result. So we know that there has to be a coalition formed. And if a coalition cannot be formed, then the second party will have to try and form some kind of a coalition. So parties will have to, in the end, work together in one way or another in order to form some kind of a coalition. Yes, there has been talks between some of the parties that a coalition is not possible. And we will see how long that leads, depending on the results we get tonight. What were some of the uh, the issues coming I I into this? Because, you know, as an outsider, when you look at Finland, uh, it is often, uh, you know, uh, given the title as, as one of the most progressive countries, uh, even politically in the world. It is a country where, where the level of corruption is at record lows. It is the most stable. Uh, the list goes on. Some of the happiest people uh, in the world uh, what's important to Finns in this? Well, of course, this uh, last government has had a lot of tough decisions to make with all the things happening in the world. But also we are, of course, just as any other country, we're facing a time of inflation. We are uh, obviously just joining NATO right now. We got ratified just a couple of days ago by Turkey, which was the last country. So then uh, we will have some small changes coming in. But of course, uh, a lot of the national questions, such as the inflation, such as uh, the climate change issues, and also our new form of government with uh, or level of government, which was just established, which is the social and health care level. These are big questions. Budget, a very big question. So we will see how these things will shape out. And that is one of the things that people have mostly been talking about. All right. Yeah, Thank you very much for joining us here on TRTO. I do appreciate your analysis.